Greetings and welcome to Dodger and Die presents the Grimstone Chronicles Season 2 Episode 13, I believe. Yes, lucky number 13. I'm your demon host, Marty, joined by the full Ontario crew. How is everyone doing on this fine Wednesday evening? Oh Let my me... god, there's a giant cat! <laughs> we un unmute the mics. Apparently, I I sent ripples into my players uh, uh, between games, and they've been panicking. About Last this. we left our heroes. <laughs> exactly. There's a giant cat in here. <laughs> oh my <God>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nightmare last week. Not last week. Um, last couple of days. It was the the cat from the Cat in the Hat with that evil freaking smile the, the Shishar the cat. yeah yeah with all the tentacles coming at me. <laughs> nice the thing talks so it could it could smile like a shishar cat of murder cat <laughs> oh nice I, I i like that you actually guys have uh uh game dreams uh, i do too um not, constantly not, not anyone anyone in particular lately but uh, i find they're more vivid when i'm dming like it's it's the edits. your your brain's going all over the place. Yeah, it, part of it is like how sleep sleep and food deprived were you when you went to bed afterwards? Right. Because <laughs> when I'm just a player, there's time to like eat and like there's a little bit of like extra cycles of your brain to process the data. Oh, I know. When you're DMing, just... it's just stream of consciousness yeah. nonsense at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get time to eat, get up and go to the washroom when you want, take a nap. Looking at you, Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Being a player, being a player, player must be awesome. <laughs> back in the, back in the day, I, I would I would have not put up with that, but I I, I now realize that we uh, we all have lives and uh, work, and you know some of you have other strains on your time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kids and wives to uh, uh, to give you negative levels. So um, temporary, you just temporary go to negative sleep, levels. Huh? But... <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, I like Thogrim. How <laughs> is everyone doing? The last time we hung out was a few days ago, uh, Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. What's, your, good. what's your week been like? Pretty busy with work. Like, my work is usually, um, I do my, I work, I work like straight for two, two days, two and a bit, three days. And I'm off basically for you know, I take it easy. I'm online, but I take it like very easy. But I did my stuff, and then I usually I mention, you know, hey guys, I can help out, and nobody says anything, and I don't mind. Some people don't help, but I help someone, and and I did it again and again and again, and my time off has been <laughs> more and more stuff. I so you, not... are you are you giving them fish? Or are you teaching them how to fish? No, no, I'm helping them out because they are just stuck somewhere. I'm not. I'm doing this another workload that they haven't gotten to. That's so an another thing you can do to keep them from coming back is you take the fish and you beat them about the face. <laughs> <laughs> so then they still have to say thank you for the fish, but they won't come <laughs> asking again. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Beat That's what you needed? <laughs> oh, fish, you incompetent <laughs> fool. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you do such a Call shitty fool. job <laughs> then you here you go oh, we did the work for you i did the work for you <laughs> here, here. It's like crayon and a torn piece of paper <laughs> so, so where i'm at is uh, i'm supposed to be making sushi and i need the guy to bring me a fish and he's doing he wasn't able to do the fish and they're just like okay we got you we got you somebody to bring you the fish it's like that guy doesn't know even the name of the project <laughs> got you Don't a worry, fishing he can rod. bring you the fish but you're tell so I have to go teach him to fish? Yes. To then bring me the fish? Yes. So that you can make the sushi. Okay, I will just go get the fish. It's faster than teaching the guy how to yeah. make how to catch the fish. Like, no, 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 he needs to do it. It's like, okay, he can watch me catch the fish. <laughs> it's gonna be longer. <laughs> I because I don't want a shitty fish, because I have to make sushi out of it. <laughs> it can't be a shit fish. <laughs> Please, no shit fish today, please. Uh, no shit fish. Uh, my my current, there's a thing going on where 
Oh, I'm not gonna get into work. I'll just I'll just go off. Never mind. <laughs> Having said that, I'm very happy. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I had a uh, surprise deadlift PR uh, this week, which was good. Cool. Um, I at the end of my day, I'm like, that felt really easy. Let's try to do something heavy, and I I I, I pulled a six ten, which was pretty good. Uh, now is this six ten like this or six ten like off the uh, ground, off... Uh, like up to your balls, from the floor to your balls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> okay. Like... <laughs> lucky my balls ain't real low. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Six ten is insane, <laughs> though, dude. That that's insane. It's uh, no, it, it was good because it was at the end of like a really kind of heavy session. So I'm pretty certain that I think a six thirty five is in there somewhere. If I want to. I feel like it. I just noticed the number of people viewing went down as I mentioned the balls thing. <laughs> they don't. Care. Nope, wrong type of channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I've <man. sighs> been right. telling you for years. No one wants to hear about them. <laughs> yeah. Um, why don't I do a recap? What happened last game? <laughs> we killed almost everything, and now uh, we're scared, which is really weird. <laughs> It was called Rivenroar. Thogrim, Brennus, Amadeus, and Agony continue their raid on the Rivenroar dungeon, facing its goblinoid and undead inhabitants while searching for captives <laughs> from Brindle and the stolen relics. They do have a number of the stolen relics. They don't know if it's all of them, but it seems like it might be. Uh, and I think you've rescued three captives uh, yeah. out, of, out yeah. of the six that were known to have been taken in the latest raid. Um, you came across a chamber that seemed to be, uh, an ancient shrine to displacer beasts <laughs> and a goblin sacrificing his own kind and perhaps captives, uh, to try to summon forth something called the Pack Lord. Yeah, I'm not afraid of no displacer beasts, but I'm afraid of that one. Yeah, uh, oh my God, Chai, a huge <laughs> one? <laughs> It is a huge displacer beast that you had witnessed after it arrived simply faded into the ethereal realm. I think we're going to um, we're going to dive right into it or do you want to do you want to do a quick scene with uh, <laughs> Should I kill your characters now? Or? <laughs> Barnabas and the others that were left behind. Oh, let's do a scene on the wagon. Everybody like, oh, my partner. Everybody, <laughs> partner is smoking. I'm sure they have it oil in hand. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go to the... Uh, I'm basically, after you teleported uh, to the Rivenroar ruins, first taking a detour to the a strange place with a... The strange place with the green smoke. With the green uh, smoke. And the deep voice. <laughs> right, yeah. and, the, and the deep voice, um, which is somewhere within 900 miles of... <laughs> <laughs> of Brindle, <laughs> uh, sixty mile, uh, sixty mile hexes. Um, th that left the rest of the party, and then the rest of the party consists of Amadeus went teleporting, Brennus went, Thogrim and his cannon, uh, agony. <clears throat> that left uh, Cog, Slake, Sunny, and Barnabas. Uh, of course, Mister. <clears throat> What are you doing? Um, so this was the next morning, I believe. You guys teleported there. Yep. Because mm -hmm. right it early. wasn't it, it, bright and early. Okay. It was. It would have been uh, one an hour and fifteen minutes into the day because there was a scrying cast. That's that right. We yeah. Read the whole scrying yeah. and then we cast spells and sent them off on their way. Uh, and you did this at the barn. So your your uh, your wagon and all the horses um, and the the ox that you read that you kept alive uh, for, since the goblin raid uh, what is your what is this group doing slake slake walks out of like a horse stall where he punched a bunch of like the internal walls of the uh, uh, of the stable in anger splinters everywhere he wipes off some splinters that are on, that are on one of his shoulder plates well, done no, just, with the... i understand that you are upset slake but we need the magic to know where to go, to even walk in the right direction. No, we need a map to know what, which way to go. Let me have a look yeah. at the map. 
Yeah, all right. He shows them the map. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Slake finds like a and like an old work table and just sort of clears off some of the uh, um, clears off some of the horseshoeing uh, uh, implements on it. It's a very regular non magical map. <laughs> he shifts and looks at part of his. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> he, he looks back at the map and. All right, where are we? <laughs> I think oh, oh we're dear. here or possibly here. <laughs> um, we're actually here. See the spot. Are you sure? Right. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, yeah. okay. Geographer, where are we on the map? Uh, uh, Cog is right. Yeah, we're there. So we came to Denivar, found you along the road, found those two dwarves along the road when they're getting hassled by goblins <laughs> and then went to Cragmaw. that's right and then went up to Brindle. i didn't get to do much punching in Cragmaw either yeah that's fine you got to push a cannon it was it made very loud noises yeah no magical noises and we went to brindle where i didn't punch anything didn't you know? <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> and then, and then he teleported to where? Somewhere over here, and they're probably fighting right now. Probably in the thick of it, blood and everything, just crunching and smashing them. Well, I mean, you could have gone. We should make our way there. <laughs> To help them out. Where, where, where's Delve? Well, Delve is looking at the map. Way over there somewhere. <laughs> Sonny's yeah, like just pointing like really, really I, west. I somewhere. believe it's to the west. Yes. All right, so that's twenty, Delve's... but like a hundred and eighty miles away. We could make that. Well, you could make that in six days. I could make that in two. One. <laughs> it's not safe. Well, have you been there before? I don't know. He, he actually like is now scratching the back of his helmet, which is You've part of him. Before. You you must have been. It. Uh, not necessarily. Even, even if you do not remember it, you must have been from your family. Well, just because his family's from there is what he needs. I think Cog's right. I seem to. The name seems familiar, even though I can't really remember oh, all right. it's, it's the same as me Barnabas I I only remembered this place when I arrived same with other sceneries that I've we've that I've seen as we've traveled through wait there. you're from Delve no 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 but this area I, I, I recognize it oh but I my, this body has not been here but my mind has oh long ago Originally, we were supposed to be um, making our way to Rivenroar to help with the um, rescued people. All the fighting will be done by then. Or they're all dead and we'll have to kill everything that's there. So, do you not want to avenge our fallen friends if that is the case? Can't you just use your magic to figure out if, they, <laughs> if they're dead or not? Me? No. I no, couldn't do that. I'm thinking we go to Delve. They had their fun. It's time for me to get my vengeance. Those two did promise that they will help us. Oh. Taking down the dwarves who are occupying your home. Yeah, Delve. I kind of wanted uh, Amadeus here with me for that. Yeah, there is another thing um, I'm thinking we should do um, prior to going to Delve. What's that? Fancy well, dwarves have a, a tradition of justice that I should, think we should enact on behalf of your clan. What do you know about that shit? <clears throat> well, let he, me make a knowledge. Whatever. <laughs> he, he's a professor of many things, right? So Geography not being the least. Yes, Sonny. Yes, very good. Hey, uh, I think... Uh, I think geography is among the least, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what is the question mark? Uh, what do I know about this? The, the clan to clan, this justice system they got like sure. So wiped out, almost wiped out my clan. <laughs> yep. Who who is the authority around here? Is kind of what you're uh, asking. Well, I'm assuming it's it's Lord, <clears throat> um, what's his name? Deverick. Deverick. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Give me a knowledge local else or veil or uh, an untrained knowledge local, whichever one. Probably some sort it's... of council. Thirty. Plus. Uh... Hang on. Thirty-four. Okay, Overlook is the seat of Dwarven power in the Elsir Vale. Um, there are six to eight thousand dwarves that live there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, not including the humans and gnomes and others that do. Uh, it is called the Elder Council of Overlook. We the, should. There are five. There are five. To, yeah. There are five that are voted in by the Parliament of Clans. And. Um, you bring your disputes before the Elder Council. Now, it sounds like this group of dwarves has already been uh, ostracized, but you don't know what the status of this other clan is. Right. There's another reason for doing this, though. <laughs> you want a reward? No. Beyond that. I'm going to make sure you that he gets the his... Land when, we, when we take it. Well, if, if Slake's clan... Had one was one third one of the third founding, of the mine of the mine, and Slake is the last member of his clan, and the council acknowledges Slake has the right to vengeance, i.e., he is of that clan. He has a right to one third of that mine, or one third of the stake. One third of the stake, yes. That's interesting. Barnabas is going to get his share of the mine. <laughs> I'm going to get my mine. <laughs> that's, that's funny. So we get paid for it, and then we get a share. <laughs> then we get a yeah. share of the mine. Uh, Barnabas, you don't know the current situation, but you know that if there, if you took the wrong step here, you could be basically declaring war on the whole group of clan of dwarves it sounds like some reckoning is due the brick hammers you just don't know yeah. what that is we need to before we attack the brick hammers make sure we are within our rights dwarven rights to do so it will also lead to you being acknowledged as the final member of your clan there's a couple of things that worry me about this clan Wait, I have to get permission to go and punch a bunch of assholes in the in the in the face. Well, it's ridiculous as that sounds, yeah. But for what it's worth, I didn't make those rules. I was just saying. I think there's two things that we need to worry about about this clan. Additionally, <laughs> if the dwarves acknowledge you as the final member of the clan, we can throw away these ownership papers because you will be a person, I believe. Uh, like they're gonna fucking recognize me. That's what spells are for. But I told you, Sonny. Well, this we just need to get some blood out of you. But there's there's fleshy bits. In, I've seen your fleshy bits. You have fleshy bits in there. Yeah, the stuff that leaks out of me ain't blood. <laughs> uh, fantastic, so too. So is that? No, they'll have to just take my word for it. Oh yeah, because yeah, dwarves, dwarves love giving up power. <sighs> anyway, that is neither here nor there, as I believe. So where, is... where are these dwarves at? That I gotta go tell? I gotta go smash some other dwarves' faces in? Uh, that would be the city of Overlook. That's way the fuck up there. Yeah, it is. Uh. Well, why don't you go talk to the dwarves and I go smash some face? Well, because they're going to ask me, well, where is this final member of Clan Anvilbrow? Collecting Clan beards Anvil. and feeding it to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think that answer's going to go very well, to be honest with you. 
They took my beard. I'm going to take theirs. You can tell that to the council. And I am sure once they realize who you are. And when they say no, I'm going to smash their heads. Well, let us get to that when we get to that, shall we? <laughs> My one is going to delve right away, then. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Uh, right. No, it's actually not, because we would be criminals. Well, everyone's looking for us anyways. Yeah, they're not like this. Now, I do believe we should head to Riven... Ro well, yes, go ahead. Did dwarves ever have a beard-based economy? The fuck are you... I understand those words. I Sonny, Sonny, I just saw Dugan over there. Oh, I haven't seen Dugan for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll find Mr. him. Mr. looks up from whatever she was doing. He's <laughs> looking around. No, but one clan did for a short while have a <laughs> so sort of <laughs> a beardocracy, where the, that, the one with the most elaborate beard was the leader. Beardocracy. Dugan, do you hear that? They had a beardocracy. <laughs> I do believe we should um, join our friends. Yes, tell me more. more. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I like yeah. the sounds of this. <laughs> Look, guys, what I'm saying, there's two things that worry me about this clan. One is that the ones we met had some alterations done some parts, some mechanical parts to them. Yes. And they've also got the strange magics. It, yes, it will also be a going to overlook, will be an uh, information gathering exercise. Uh, Ribbon Roar is in the opposite direction of them both. Well, not quite, but... Uh, they're gonna... They can walk back. And we'll, head, we'll head to Delve. Yeah, they... they, they... How are they going to get to Delve? We just tell them we'll go to Delve. Yeah, and how are they going to get there? Just have, they can walk we, there. Have them meet us in Overlook. With what? The map? No, the dwarves... You lot needed me to read a fucking map. The, the dwarves were from Overlook, and the, 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 the Nomi dwarf has teleport. Mm, yes, that's true. Yeah, he's yeah, just going to use I... his magic to come back here. Yeah, and if he's dead... Yeah. That's a problem. <laughs> I never thought of that. That's a, that's a really bad problem. <laughs> I fucking hate Split this. Split the other party. <laughs> this giant crutch you guys have. Help with me! Your, with your fucking magic. <laughs> fucking wizards. <laughs> 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 Mr. Or sorry, John, you mentioned Dugan or or uh, Dee Dee. He, she's going looking with you, but she she like tilts her head, looks at Sunny. So where do we go? I suggest Riven Rule. Try to catch up with our uh, friends. Yeah. All right. Slake, Delve isn't going anywhere. Let's make sure when we hit those bastards, we hit them with everything we've got. Yeah, but my patience is... No, build that anger. Bottle it up. It can only make you stronger. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> Didi doesn't think... Didi, you might... I, I think you'll disagree with the bottling thing. No? You might want to touch up his happy face. It's getting. You will get your vengeance, but the more we know, the more. <laughs> Cog's making the more, a point. The more Go complete ahead, your vengeance will be, it is entirely possible. I'm not expert on dwarven politics, but it's not unusual for one clan to set one clan on another as a sort of scapegoat. I mean, if someone had sent clan Brickhammer. Destroy Clan Anvil, wouldn't you want to know which clan done that? And you're gonna fucking tell me? No, but we're gonna find out together. Alright. Like I said, I kinda wanted Amadeus on this mission. <laughs> He's a brutal bastard, that's for sure. Amadeus was hoping to be there too, to be honest. <laughs> <Vengeance>. <laughs> 
<laughs> so let's go pick him up, shall we? <laughs> All the killy folks went that way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. How, how long does it take to use the horses to get there versus Slake and Cog just pulling the cart over straight? I don't know how... Cog's still got like a 12 strength, right? Yeah, he'll help. Slake, <laughs> more yeah, like moral it's, support. It's, Slake moves, it's not a rickshaw. <laughs> Slake moves uh, um, slower than a horse. so But overnight. So you'd, you'd have to basically have him go all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Which, the horses are probably more efficient in the long run. Because you still have to, like, rest. Put real quick up inside the cart. Or... Oh, you leave the fuck. We leave the fucking ox here. Yeah, let's sell that thing. But... I'm near broke, alright? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, you, you, you make a quick uh, 50 Imperial <laughs> gold coins uh, selling your ox. Uh, They're my ox. <laughs> how are we... They're my ox. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> how do we? What are we? But how do we pull the wagon? Well, you have your horses. We have horses. The, the ox was oh, the leftover yeah. from the dwarves' wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just sold the dwarves' oh. ox. That goes in party treasure. That's yes. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, the, the the stable Slush the fun. stable bloody hell. the stable buys <laughs> the ox from you. Uh, so it sounds like you guys are getting into your wagon and driving towards Riven Roar, basically searching for the Riven Roar runes. Ruins. Well, we're going to go grab one of those uh, ranger types. Oh, uh, this man missing his fingers. <clears throat> Sildar. Uh, Sildar. Yeah. yeah. Sure, Sil Sildar. Um, yeah, you find Sildar. We're off to Riven Roar, but we don't know where it is. Hop in. <laughs> The attack has already begun, so it should be safe by the time we get there, or very, very ditch. <laughs> okay, you're asking for a favor. He just got out of the wilderness. Give me a diplomacy check. Uh oh, Barn this will lead, baby. Do you want to leave? Sure. Uh, you right. get a plus one from uh, from Sunny. Plus one? No, oh, sorry, plus two. I think I think Sunny takes the lead. Barnabas aids. Okay, the... I will take the I will take the aid. Uh, this is a favor, correct? Yep. 33. Uh, Sildar nods. He he says it's for a good cause. He You know that it's to he save, then... It's to save the townsfolk. He, he then goes back into where they're staying and then comes back out with his satchel and, and gear, uh, including the gear that you kitted him out with. Um, you're pretty sure he asked for permission from Lord Dvarek. That's fine. <clears throat> He doesn't do politics. So. Yep. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to know in what direction and where. In what direction are they going? Where, exactly. Yeah, where the where the other group was headed. So it it turned it, basically there was there was two reasonable directions. Overlook oh, or uh, well, overlook d delve if you all of you went. Yeah, let's go. Let's go run a muck well, with. We went to it's delve. Like... The other group is like, how do I get to delve? And they're yeah. all like, I guess I gotta bust ass through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> do any of you assholes have scrying? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the scryers went west. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, all right. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the party's getting <laughs> in Riven Roar. Yep, the Riven Roar dungeon. All right, so I've already rolled initiative. Oh, oh pity. did we win? Mm. <laughs> uh, kind of. Some of you, others, not so much. I will repaste. Us one. I'll repaste the initiative list. So what do we have here? You guys bust into a chamber that looked like it was some sort of shrine or perhaps summoning summoning chamber. Uh, Brenos had pulled back a um, uh, a lady that quite clearly does not belong in the Riven Roar dungeon, full of uh, goblinoids and undead. Uh, she fits the description as the of the cook uh, that was uh, absconded uh, or kidnapped from Brindle. Uh, Thogram, you had let curiosity uh, get in the way. You had peeked around the corner and saw the creature that had been summoned, or perhaps conjured here after enough sacrifices were made in front of these strange statues of displacer beasts. Um, 
uh, apparently the goblin priest or wizard that summoned the creature didn't do a really good job because the pack lord simply picked him up in his tentacles and bashed him against the corner of a Failed wall. The charisma check. <laughs> um, the creature actually spoke in common, saying that it was time to hunt and time to feed. It grinned and then disappeared into the ethereal plane. Brenos, um, what are you doing? Maybe it's time to hunt and feed elsewhere that, in the world. <laughs> that thing, that thing is still here. Time it's, to fucking move. <laughs> it's a, th it's ethereal. It's gone. Oh shit! I'm gonna pick up the cook. Okay, move action. Pick her up. <laughs> and we still move throw her forty leg. feet up. <laughs> so deposit the cook. So that's uh, basically free action. Drop the cook up here. Yep. Uh, that's What's going on? That's says Theron with his it. with his little sword that he gave it, that you gave him. Jalissa is just There's leaning. On the loose. Jalissa is actually yeah. sitting down at this point in time with her yeah. six with negative levels freaking... and nine dex damage. Shit. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have nine dex. She has nine dex damage. Damage, yes, <laughs> brutal. That's that's terrible. God, it was a dump stat. She screwed. <laughs> There's a beast on the loose. Okay, she just she just nods. She. She winces in pain a little bit. Brenos. Uh, Agony, I think, is with uh, with uh, Amadeus finishing off the last of the Kragma bugbears. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you, can hear, you can hear the fleeing sounds uh, and cries of goblins kind of disappearing uh, um, uh, around the corner. Um, there is a set of doors that do either of you read? Uh, uh, they don't goblin. read goblin. No. No. There's a goblin. There's a couple. There's a couple of goblinoid block letters that are on the set of doors. It looks like it was smeared in some sort of um, blood shitty paint. Is that before Amadeus smeared? A goblin on <laughs> oh, no it's it's definitely the goblins painted on the door and, and okay. wrote some letters you don't know what it says um, uh, Amadeus gets yelled at what is it we're almost done <laughs> what are you fucking out there for <laughs> uh, we can't quite actually we don't have line of sight on each other we're just there's oh. just like a, a yeah, there you, yeah, you can, you can hear that you can hear the dwarves kind of yelling Agony yeah. looks over. You can also hear, I think you deposited into the pit uh, a bugbear. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. And a manticore. <laughs> like leaving for his life. <laughs> What's going on up there? You hear a voice from, from, uh, from the pit. It is just shove like a bunch of bodies down there. <laughs> okay, so you start kicking bodies down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right. Amadeus is making it rain. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so Amadeus is basically moving, making the Manticore move back. I'm going to add the Manticore to the initiative because he knows. He knows. <laughs> he was a better flyer. He could fly out those holes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hundred feet clumsy. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Agony and Amadeus, the pack lord. Oh god. Um, so I want my cannon to go to Brennus. Um, my clothes can be sold, and my 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 um body can be sold to science. Donated to science. Cannon where is the amulet? <laughs> cool that. My will is in my underpants. Well, it's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be legible soon, because that's pretty scary. Uh, <laughs> it moved. And it moved. Uh, and he came out. <laughs> uh, so if you have seen visibility, you can see it, right? Yeah, Th Thogram, Thogram is able to peek into the ethereal plane, and you see the thing, it, it squeezes by you, it looks at you, and it, and it goes into the room, looks around, looks up and to the left, Thogram, up and to the left, <laughs> up and to the left. <laughs> it, it's, it's looking at a big group of people up there, but then turns around and is, and is looking right at you. <clears throat> 
Pilgrim. What? I'm next? Yeah. You, you, you went before you. I thought Agony was... Okay, sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Agony and Amadeus were fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to um, be more clear in our... Get over here okay. As knowledge, <laughs> you, you asked us what we're doing, so we told you. Yeah. Knowledge, <laughs> knowledge is the free, right? Uh, yeah. It, uh, our our house rule is it's an action. Knowledge, knowledge planes did, or knowledge arcana. Um, how can I affect this thing? Uh, did you already roll this last? Brannos did. Brannos did. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't think Falgrim did. <clears throat> no. All right. Uh, uh, I have an arcana planes. So are you That's asking what this useless. thing is? Um, yeah, what is this thing? And yeah, what is this thing? Okay. Uh, Planes? Which skill would you like to use? Arcana. Arcana, okay. <laughs> All right. Is the answer a problem? <laughs> Except... 25. <laughs> All right, this thing is a um, a normal version of a displacer beast. is a magical beast. They are mm, no smarter than a troll. Um, and you know of their displacement properties. This one is doing things that a normal displacer beast or even a greater displacer beast cannot do. You also suspect that there's something more to it. Um, do you have any knowledge planes? Yeah. Okay, so... Roll it. Uh, if you want to take another action thinking about it. Oh, fuck that. I'm going to get back to my boy. <laughs> uh, it's looking right at you. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Going to need some help over here. Lots of it. Uh, it went right through me. Anger, I threw it. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah. I feel like you don't run fast enough all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 your skin crawls as as you go running right through it. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's as far as I can go. Wait, uh, uh, is flight, flight is gone. Shit, how many fucking, what spells are running? <laughs> Shit. Better check your token. Take a uh, long strider. Yeah, okay, long strider. Good. Yeah. There you go. That'll right on. Uh, that'll 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 help. <sighs> Fuck. All right. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh... Burn us. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop looking so tasty. <laughs> I'm not fucking tasty. I'm fucking. All right, Brennos. What happens when you put in your beard too much? You need to let it be a little more pungent. Brennos. Uh, Brennos is... So Brennos has the invisibility up. Yep, you can well, see I can it. I see it too. Yeah, it, it, Get it, back! It just seems to be looking at, at Thugrim move. It's studying you. Oh! All right. Okay. Brenos. What what is your th what is your speed right now, Thogram? Thirty. <laughs> With long strider. Okay. The uh, speed. He's faster than you. Yeah, he is a little faster than me. Uh, let me just check. Dwar I don't have anything that'll add to it. Just my dwarven speed is what makes me shit. Okay. Brenos, what are you doing? Yep. Okay. There's uh, a worried Brenos. group of. <clears throat> A folk that you can't see it. Though. Nope. I think I think I should give him a, a rope trick. It's very big. It's very big, Brenos. You're you're estimating that its tentacles can reach twenty feet out from its body. Okay. And that its bite and claws Ooh. probably threaten within fifteen. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 
I'm going to back into that corner. Uh, I'm going to point to them to hide, like hide back there. Hit. Um, and then I'm going to cast a divine favor because I think some bonuses to whacking might be needed. <laughs> Look, the creature snaps its head up when it sees you spell casting. Stop being smart. You stupid cat. <laughs> its tentacles lashing around. It slowed down for a moment when you were spellcasting, and, they, and then now they're they're hovering high while the creature is, is lurching low. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to... Basically, with my move, I'm going to... I've got a 50-foot speed, so... I'm so you go running to, down the stairs? Yeah, I go running down the stairs to the side Thorm. See, in front of Thorm if I can. Is That's it, buddy. Eat Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Get your asses back here. We've got a problem. <laughs> Agony. Uh, can I move the civilians on this pit? Or what pit no, the, the civilians go last. Okay. Uh, armed Manticore is having an argument with the bugbear down below about whether or not they should open these doors. <laughs> 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 that is actually yes but they should leave <laughs> yeah uh the arm manicor pushes the bugbear out of the way because it wants to go up and the bug the other bug oh, goes, no, 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 no 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 uh okay agony um are we going down there or... what's the problem over there big fucking cat in the fuck off plane get down here get your hand out <laughs> We should probably go. They probably found a shelf or something on top. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a grin there's a grin from Agony. Uh, they're and... never gonna let the goblin thing go away, are they? <laughs> no, <Yep>. no. <laughs> Maybe they're waylaid by goblins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, better go see. And he goes up to Amadeus and taps you with a fly spell. Oh, okay. Unless you want me to haste the two of you. Uh, well, I wouldn't mind to haste. Haste would be I, better, yeah. Haste would be better, so that both of you can move fast? Yeah. They, okay. They, they, uh, so, yeah. There, he, he, he casts haste, jump. and then you guys can jump over pits, I guess. Yeah. Um, you can fly, both right? monks. <laughs> if you can't do the pit. Well, no. they. The minute per levels are down. Uh, Agony never He wins. doesn't have wings yet? Agony no. does not have wings. Agony has little vestigial nubbies. Oh, yeah. he's just a big lizard. <laughs> so, Amadeus? Uh, no, it's the Displacer Beast, Pack Lord, and oh. then Amadeus, <laughs> then Thogram. Okay. So the Displacer right. Beast, Pack Lord, is going to move here. Holy shit! It, it shimmers and and appears in the Prime Material Plane. <laughs> And one of the tentacles comes down over Brenos and is trying to grab Thogram. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> he's, he's trying to wrestle with the thing with his uh, rifle. Okay. Good. AC is just, 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 okay, you hit me. <laughs> uh, not flat footed because you saw it coming. Yeah. Oh, it's. AC 42. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, a, that, that, that's a hit. <laughs> what the hell? Ow. Fuck. Fuck. Guys. Okay, 13 damage. <sighs> and then the Shit. And then the thing tries to wrap around you. Does nothing. Freedom of movement. And you slide right out. <sighs> Your, your beard kind of up on your face a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so it appeared, moved, attacked. Or moved, appeared, and attacked. So Cannon is bitch. <laughs> it, is, it is out of actions. Stay in this... Don't let it leave! <laughs> All you dum-dums are so far away. <laughs> <laughs> now it's ominous. A hasted on the disc. Okay, I don't even need to roll to get over this. Okay, those just things. count it as part of your movement. Okay, there yeah. is this horrible, horrible beast. 
Uh, I believe at that point, uh, yeah, it starts threatening you here. All right, he will try to tumble. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's a nice thing about... Give me a second, I need to figure out it's CMD and CMD. Tumbalaya! Tumbalaya is bad. Tumbalaya! <laughs> I disagree with this. <laughs> okay, forget it, I got a 19, I feel. Yeah, I, I, still, I still need to figure out it's uh, uh, CMD. So, it's trend 38? plus fab plus... Oh, wait. Shit. Rain. 46, I assume. Huge creatures get a plus a bonus of what? Four? Two. Two? It's underwhelming. Hmm. And it actually has a dex? Cool. And then its CMB would be. Plus strength. And then the CMB grapple uh, plus four if it has grab mark. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that doesn't add to your CMD though. Correct. Just CMB. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a bunch of shit about trip and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. One of the uh, one of the tentacles comes lashing in towards you. Okay. Um, and the AC to hit was twenty-seven. It should be 28 with its amulet. My bad. <laughs> AC 38. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. It's got a way to see through. Ah, oh, you miss. Blur. <laughs> <laughs> your, your cloak of minor displacement. How do you like it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it... It, it it thought it kind of just it was like watching the peripheral vision and a and a uh, a tentacle went flashing that way. You've got its attention when you manage to get all the way up to it. Okay, uh, I'm going to make my haste attack. Plus, uh, just haste going, no other buffs for attack. Oh. Nope, twenty two. Well. I'd be shocked if that hit. Yeah. Um, big cat. Maybe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it very much. Because this is this thing is a serious problem. And then size. Okay. Uh, twenty-two is not hit. No. No. All right. So Almadeus is right up to it. So you had to do all of your moves and then your haste attack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thogrim. I'm going to cast... Uh... Can it reach me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know if it's a god anymore. Oh, it does. Maybe. It's threatening. It's threatening. Oh, that lovely. Okay. It's used, uh... it's used, it's used Step now. Step cast? One AO. No, I can, I can do this uh, defensively. Uh, pull. I, so pulling out a wand, and is it casting defensively? Uh, can I cast defensively on a wand? Wands don't provoke. Wands don't provoke. Unless you're using a ranged attack out of the wand, because the attack will provoke. No, it's. I'm not. Uh, I'm actually going to give. Um, I'm giving Brennus a true strike. That's not how that spell That's works. That's not how. Oh, it's works. just whoosh. it's good stuff. Good stuff. Step this is forth. good stuff. Magic missiles looking pretty good right now, aren't they? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so throw uh, your spell and step forward. <laughs> we're going to uh, you're going to shoot this thing with the rifle and the bomb. Okay, uh, it takes its AOO. Uh, all right, can't do this defensively. You can step back, maybe. Oh, uh... Step forward! Forward! <laughs> it rolls a net one. Yay, buddy! <laughs> it hit AC 47 otherwise. <laughs> what the hell? Brenos waving his axe around caused the tentacle to, like, to go wildly into the into the wall. Fuck. Let's see, step let's see how... forward, you coward! <laughs> uh, he takes his shot... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fuck. 
God damn it. This thing got me scared, man. Okay, uh, 15. 19. Thirty-six potential nice. hit. Give me a D two. Oh yeah. Uh, what am I looking for? Good. Uh, low is high is good for you. Yay! Yeah. You miss. It just Yay. seems to go right through the creature. Uh. Some of the wall on the other side. Yep. That's what we're... Uh, there we go. You found your sack. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hold. <laughs> All right, it's a bomb off my list and a bullet. All right, and you just stepped for it? Yup. Okay, no AOO then. Uh, captives, they're all moving into the corner. Get the fuck out of here. What <laughs> is that? <laughs> oh, they all go running into the... To the wee corner. How do the wee corner? <laughs> yup. Um, the Jalissa actually does a thing before she she stands from prone and she's gonna cast bless. Hey. And I believe, hey. and, I believe hey. and I believe the morale bonus to attack affects Amadeus as well. Yay! Uh, but she nice. stands and casts her spell and she's standing there though. That's the dangerous oh. part. That's, that's she's. Don't worry, she's in armor. She'll be fine. Yeah. Blessings of the Silver yeah. Rain upon all of you. Um. It, the cat's looking looks up at the spellcaster. <laughs> Brenos. Okay. Uh, I am going to move forward without provoking attacks of opportunity because Throgrim is there with the weapon. So I, I, I'm adjacent to allied squares, so I don't provoke AOs using my escape route to escape forward. <laughs> Okay. He used me as bait, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, he, he he used the the brief moment where the cat dodged the bullet, uh, to to come charging in. All right, I'm going to uh, I will bane magical beasts because I did identify it as a magical beast type yep. at least in front. It oh, it snaps its head towards Brenos like it it almost smelled the the bane that. Uh, ig ignited upon your <laughs> axe. Gonna feel it now. Rados is gonna be real angry about the whole deal. <laughs> uh, so he uh, and we're going to try to uh, believe the. It's been the... a while since I had dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> it makes an uh, impossibly larger, louder sound than Brenos does. <laughs> Uh, and we're going to be really good at intimidating. So if I hit it, maybe I can make it scared. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, plus 25 to hit. Nice. Um, please hit. Critical threat. Sweet. It can be critted. 33. Potential critical. Oh, please make this work. D2. Come on! Come on! The displacement. It's, it's like the axe goes right through the creature. Is there, is there any ability that you have? Nothing that would affect a percentile. I spent a mythic point to reroll the 20. <laughs> I was looking at Legends. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not enough characters. <laughs> uh, I no, I don't have anything else that would. That's just annoying. Okay. That's super it, annoying. It should have died from that, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm looking at his hit points. Uh, uh that would have. Uh, 21, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It would have been 3d10 plus 46 plus 90. Assuming a regular crit. Interesting. Okay, so you missed. And do you have any other actions left? Welcome to my world! <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> okay, you. it makes sense. You're learning that the creature is somewhat offset from where it actually is. Uh, uh, Amadeus already learned that. <laughs> or where, where, it, where it sees, uh, or where it seems to be. So the manticore is coming up the stairs. Looking around. And then the bugbear is closing the doors. <laughs> agony. Hasted Agony needs to make his way over there. Uh, 
that's two moves. Doesn't have long arm up. So he's not threatened there. What should he do, guys? Dimensional anchor. <laughs> oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> not a spell he has. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's got some force left. Um, what can he do damage wise? He could. <laughs> Try to get in there for a single haste attack. Nah. Uh, he get an AOO. He's got for spells. He he's got one empowered fireball left. Yeah, probably doesn't have haste. Uh... Yeah, but this thing's a Dexy thing. All right, he'll try the empowered uh, fireball. This thing looks like a yeah, problem. sure. Uh, fireball rips off. Um, first thing that Agony is going to have to do is break SR. I don't think Agony has those special feats, uh, but it is caster level one higher because of a Volcanica. So 1d20 plus 9. 26 breaks its SR. Good. Oh, uh, so uh, 47, 37 plus another 18 is 47, 55 plus another 18 is 65, 73 on the fireball. Right. It gets a reflex save. It failed? Nice. Did it fail? Ooh. Give me a second. Mark's going to run out. Agony's DC is uh, 18 plus spell level 21. Yeah, it failed. So it takes 73 fire damage, which then becomes, uh, oh. because of resistance, 58. <laughs> I'm bad at math. I'm bad at math. Uh, for a brief moment, there was something on fire in addition to the image of the creature. Like, it, it's it's very close by to the creature. Um, yeah, the creature did not like that. Splacer Beast, Pack Lord. Okay. Okay, buddy. The guy who almost took my head off, the guy who missed, or the fireballer? Guy with a gun. I think the guy who almost took my head off is going to get some. I was going to carry it home in his sack. <laughs> <laughs> going to wear it around. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Okay, uh, tentacle Big comes. Dwarf man, didn't you? <laughs> a tentacle comes lashing in towards uh, uh, Brenos. AC thirty. You miss, even with rage. You miss exactly, but you miss. Oh man, a three on its save and a two on its attack roll. That is so annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, because this creature is not annoying at all. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, it'll spread the love. It will give a uh, an attack on Amadeus with a tentacle. Oh. AC 47. Uh, yeah. Hang on. That's a miss. Because <laughs> of your blur effect. <laughs> Aha! All right, then as a move action, it disappears into the ethereal. Oh, fucker! Oh. 
Amadeus. It's going to move to here. Okay. You can't see it, right? You don't have see invis up. He's got see invis up. Oh, okay. Then, then you see it. It's just looking at you. It's actually, it actually licked its wound a little, or its wounds. Uh, he moves to there, and he is going to ready to grapple it when it appears. Okay, Thogrim. Thogrim is going to. Um, I'm going to pull out a couple of potions, a couple of. Uh, um, Elixirs, extracts. Why the fuck you going? I'm pulling out extracts, and I'm going to. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. This one's for you. It's a true strike extract. Sweet. Thank you. Blurp. <laughs> I um, ordered in my tongue. So <laughs> you, you have a... It's a move to get there, and then you pull out a potion. And it's a standard to apply, right? Well, it's an extract, so... Like a spell, isn't it? Marty, or is it more Marty, for others? When it's, you drink it, it's, it's a spell. It's, when it, they drink it, it's a potion. All right. Marty, here's a question. And it's Cog's Did, extract, not Thogrim's. Or is it Thogrim's? Yeah, no, Thogrim has Oh, extracts. okay, well, then you, can, then you can move and apply it, sure. Now, question: um, Did it make itself go, make itself uh, ethereal, or did it make it? Sorry, did it make itself appear into the into our material plane? Yes. If you're wondering if that counted as an action, last time it counted as an action. I'm wondering if it can stay longer in the ethereal instead of just. I wouldn't drink it yet. It might stay in there longer. Are you feeding it or not? It's his actions. I, if, if you feed it to him, it's your actions. If he drinks it, it's his actions. I'm readying to feed it to him when it appears. Okay. Okay. The captives. Uh, Jalissa <laughs> hobbles into the corner with the others. What's going on? Just stay quiet. Shut up! <laughs> Brenos. With his nice shiny five con drain. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Uh, Brenos, it just waits out your rage. <laughs> well, this is no. uh, Brenos is going to drop out of rage. Cast weapon wand to throw a true strike wand in his axe. Okay. And then I'm going to judge this thing harshly. <laughs> You've been a bad kitty. You've been a bad kitty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this uh, thing is evil. That two rounds of fatigue. Okay. One first, uh, like first round of fatigue done. Agony uh, glances over his shoulder. There's a manticore back there. Screw the manticore! <laughs> Amadeus doesn't even look at him, so? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Agony is going to take advantage of the move. Stow his um, empower rod and ready a attack with his with his pull arm when the thing appears. I think I know what it's going to do next round. <laughs> and it's not be there. <laughs> it, it, it looks at Brennos. It, look, it looks at the Grim ready to apply a potion. <laughs> it looks at Amadeus. He's down in some sort of stance going like this. And Amadeus <laughs> ready to wind up. <laughs> and it's going to... Going after the people. He has to climb. Look, look, look how low that hallway is. Yep. How did I mention Doros? Um, it is. Can't see it though. You saw it kind of climb up and then 
look. Well, we, we saw which way it went. We don't know where yeah. it stopped. Get over here. Get over here, and I'll dimension door you. Well, you don't know where it went. <laughs> Let's get to the people. Uh, again, we don't know where they they went. Oh, you know what? He's gonna just gonna trust the door. Fine. <laughs> So are you delaying or he's gonna delay till Bogram okay. Dimension Doors us. Bogram. Uh Bre I'm readying a dimension door when Brenos gets here. I'm gonna run. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm running. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to dimensional so dimension door these two guys. Boop. Okay, where? Uh we told him to get in that corner, so we assume they're in that corner, so I'm the dimension door to that corner. All right. So you, we're a little bit. You dimension yeah. door here. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> then it's Amadeus. Well, be, is... I would have said go to the middle of that room. Because... Turn. Um, Amadeus isn't moving. I guess he will. Ready for it to appear. Okay, so you're readying a grapple check when it appears. Yep. Okay, the captives. What's the matter? It's just a Lisa. Run that way as fast as you fucking can. <laughs> Which way are you pointing? Uh, I'm telling him to run down the stairs. Oh. Jalissa starts moving. She, she gets <laughs> to the top of the stairs. The, the boy makes it much further. He's kind of running down the stairs. Brenos, there's something up there. I, I do. Stay there. Or sorry. Stay there. The creature's looking down on Thogrim. Piece of shite. Brenos. Uh, Brenos is going to basically huddle up amongst the people at the top of the stair, like move up the stairs. Okay. I can see it. Uh, I'm just going to check the range of Lynn's judgment. I have to touch you. Want to touch you so far away? Maybe to just uh, delay till after oh. agony, because agony's gonna have to step back to hit this thing if it even uh, just no, he, walk he, through he us. He can hit any of the far squares. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. 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 Um, so quit... uh, he's going to cast a true strike this round. Okay. And he's casting it not from the wand, but he's casting it from his own spells. All right. Agony is going to ready a true strike spell strike nice we are going to so ignore your displacement with <laughs> <laughs> yes yes i have done it i have broken my players uh okay all right uh yeah let's see if he i want to make sure he has enough action so it's a two action thing no a one action thing um Cool. So Agony's got a ready to action. The Displacer Beast. Hmm. What you got, huh? Stop antagonizing the Displacer Beast! <laughs> move to there. I don't think anyone threatens him from there. No. So he moves. He appears. And is going to attack Amadeus with a tentacle. AC 35? Nope. No? Nope. Oh, it is. <laughs> Cog is somewhere and is proud. <laughs> Move, appear, attack. It's done. It's on the corporeal realm. Thogrim. It's here! Uh, he's going to give uh, Amadeus a, a true strike. Okay, I think that incurs an AOO. Can it do defiance off It's a potion. 
so you can't do it defensively, but you could step it behind the cover at the corner, but, you know. Uh, I could, I can't, st- um. AC 43? Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Okay, well, just... soak the AOs, dwarf. Uh, 12, 12 damage, and do you, right. have, do you have freedom of movement running? Yep. Okay, it tried to grab you again. 12 damage, that's 26. You know what's ironic? That it keeps missing, like, it not hitting Amadeus is saving it from Amadeus being like, haha, I grab you anyway. <laughs> I wrap up more in the tentacle. <laughs> uh, I like your hugs. <laughs> so can I still feed him the potion? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, loop. Uh, so that's an action. Two actions. Oh, it's two actions to give it to him? I saw him up. You, you had it in your hand. Yeah. I'll let it be one. Because you... Be the man. Be the man. Um... <sighs> you stepped on a cover. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's summoning a cannon and they're going to blow it away. <laughs> Surprise, so... bitch! <laughs> Alright, so you, you throw down your cannon. <laughs> Uh, Did you have your cannon in your hand? I could, because it's tiny. Uh, Didn't you have a wand well, or a potion? No, I had, a, potion. I had a gun and a potion. Okay, so you Shit. take out your cannon as a move action. I'm not going to... Do you have? I leave the cannon in my hand. Do you have, do you have quick draw? Um... Uh, it's, I, have, I have stuff that's very specific to um okay so the cannon is in your hand your gun is in your other hand um so you've got your cannon you okay uh sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, backstep the cannon because um it's not like a bomb i'm gonna put a bullet in my rifle and shoot him okay it will take its aoo again you will load your gun the full no the full cannon okay AC thirty one. Yes. Woo. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, it wallops you for thirteen damage. I'm all right. You really need to stop getting hit. Jeez. <laughs> Slapping Thogram. Thirteen damage. Okay. You managed to load your gun and fire. Thirteen damage. Touch AC is thirty nine. Pathetic. Okay, um, D20. 12. Or 19. 20, oh, fuck. Uh, 23 against its touch AC? Yeah. Oh, okay, roll, cool. Roll a D2. Yeah, this is the shitty part. Yeah, baby. You, you struck um, it? 12 plus 5D6. Keep, keep the fire keep damage the fire separate. separate. Okay. It's 4... Uh, thirteen damage. Is this just five... magic? Is it just magical? It's magical. Okay, so that thirteen becomes three. <sighs> the plus one gun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the bullet almost bounced off of its hide, left a <sighs> little pink bruise. Seventeen fire. And it does two fire damage. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was Thogrim standing his ground bravely. Amadeus with a true strike uh, running. Yeah, Amadeus is not going to waste the true strike. Get the cover. <laughs> okay, it gets an AOO. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try to beat it. I doubt it, but not with a 24. All right. 41. Uh, that might be a hit. It's a hit this time. Mm-hmm. Okay, grab it. Eight. Reactive grab it for touching Eight. you. 18 damage. Uh, okay, he takes the 18 damage. All right, it's going to attempt to grapple you. Does that you do that. Does with your power that lets you grab things who are trying to... Like... Uh, he would have done it when I was out of reach. Ah. It, it was moving from here to here that triggered it. So, uh, yeah, you did it well. I, I think well in two here. levels, it doesn't matter what their reach is. I could do it anyway. <laughs> All right, so it's CMB. 
you try just try to scoop Amadeus up is a 44 nope <laughs> <laughs> it, it wraps around the update and somebody is like nah and you just want to grapple it from way out here and then you, you move all the funny. way in oh that's funny <laughs> the, the, that's the, gross. the 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 creature looks looks at amadeus curiously <laughs> drool um, amadeus coming out of its mouth <clears throat> drools himself and bites it on the leg <laughs> with your horrible horrible tongue AC 51. Maybe. Roll a D2. Not a maybe. It's a true strike. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, you, you you strike you strike the cat. Does it take acid damage? Uh, It does. Oh. Uh, I want my critical threat back when my turn comes up. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the bless, too. Uh, so, 27 damage. I don't know what its DR is. DR is 10 good. I don't have it, so... Okay, um, so... So, 17? 17 is still significant, and enough to allow your other shenanigans to apply. Yes, the the grab attack. <laughs> I can grab too, buddy. I can grab too. Yeah, you grab it kind of like underneath the armpit of the tentacle, and you're like yeah. wrapping one of your arms around it, and <laughs> your, your tongue lashing out, <laughs> cries in pain. Uh, oh crap! Thirty-three. Uh, Thirty-three is a uh, is not enough. It shrugs you off of uh, off of the tentacle armpit. All right. <sighs> All right, that was move attack. I will just grab it now. Mutant. Thirty-seven. Its CMD is forty-three. Fuck off. Right. Uh, attacks, and I get a haste attack. Uh, plus, plus eleven, probably gonna miss. Yeah, sixteen is a miss. Brenos. All right, Brenos, who's no longer fatigued because he had two rounds of not raging, so he's ready to rage again. Uh. He's... Uh, up the stairs and in he goes and you're in my way so I have to use a second move <laughs> I don't provoke AOOs because I've got allies I'm running between yep. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and there's this nice path of adjacent squares it's all good he, he doesn't know. Uh, I got true strike running I'm going to rage and I'm going to whap the thing into next Tuesday <laughs> this is the plan uh, until, until the end I did, I did my part with five damage. It's until the end of your next turn, right? Yep. So this is your next turn, not quite the end. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to spank it until next week. Please don't be a one. <laughs> AC 60. Does AC 60 do it? <laughs> <laughs> your, your axe comes in very aggressively. Um, 1d10 plus 4d6 plus 34, and my weapon counts as a plus 5 weapon right now, so... It gets through good. Fifty-nine damage. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me check the pack lord's hit points. Save or die. Save or die. You just got five. Actually, first, you just got... <laughs> first it gets to. I'm going to. Um, S I don't know. Save or die. It, it's not even bloodied yet. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to intimidate. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. 1d20 plus 23 plus 4. Uh, 36 on the Intimidate check. Okay, the DC would be... 10 plus... Yeah, give me a second. Uh... This is where templates don't do so much. <laughs> One, And it gains a bonus for being large? Uh, I think that's very reasonable. It, or it it yeah, it's a it gets plus four or I, I take a minus four. It's yeah, okay, I'll add the plus four. So, uh, ten, eighteen hit dice is twenty eight. It has a wisdom of plus three, so thirty one, and it's larger than you by two steps. Uh, it's just one penalty for being smaller. Okay, so plus four, it. so thirty one is thirty five. Hey. Uh, okay, it's shaken for one round. So and it's, it's, will it's, save or be panic or be frightened. Its fear AC is thirty-five. <laughs> Apparently, all monsters now need that that 
uh, so, yeah, calculation. No Once Spritos eventually slaps you. <laughs> Alright, now it needs to make a what? A will save? Yep. Or be frightened. Okay. <laughs> Does a 16 make it? It's frightened. <laughs> Uh, which isn't run great away. Gonna run away. <laughs> Don't run away. <laughs> Stay and fight me. <laughs> uh, it's frightened for one round. Okay. How many shaken rounds does it have? Just one. Oh, just one because it barely beat its DC. Okay. Uh, the Manticore is stupidly flying forward. Uh... Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. sake. <laughs> Get back up here now! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, uh, Thurn yelling. Hey, what do we have here? Ah! What are you doing out of your cages? Agony comes around the corner as a move. No AOO from here to here. Beat the piss out of it. He's going to use his standard action. Uh, true strike. strike. True strike, yeah, boy. Uh, are you going to do your attacks first, then use on the last one for the most to hit? Mm, so Are move, you... attack, attack, haste, attack. We could do it. Uh, no, he has to do this as a. Yeah, it'd be a haste, attack, attack, and then. Yes. Spell combat. So he'll get two attacks. He wasn't there for the, um, for bless. the bless. He wasn't there for the bless. He has a haste running, and I think we just want to hit the thing, right? So yeah, it's here now. Yep. And it's will save sucks. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna normal attack AC twenty three. Its AC is twenty five. I want to say yes. So he misses. He misses, and then his haste attack is at plus five minus two plus twenty. Uh, sorry, his uh, true strike attack hits AC thirty eight, which might hit. It. Oh, true strike! It true hits. Strike. And this does one D ten plus fifteen. No bard song, nothing else. Bonus, 1d10 plus 15. Minus 10. Minus 10. Yeah. For 10 damage. Welcome to my world. I need to spank this thing like four more times. <laughs> <laughs> Finally he hits it. Um... Displacer Beast Pack Lord. Well, when it gets frightened, it goes into the ethereal. And then is it... there is there a reaction? Or... It's just a move. Uh, and then it it tries to get away from you. And it's familiar with this place, so it's gonna flee up the stairs. <laughs> or was he like here before? You you, you, you you see him you see him run uh run down the stairs I guess no it's up and then he's no longer uh frightened Thogrim run this way run to me now what's that <laughs> run to me now. The hell is around that corner? Um, he has a potion of true strike. He pulls out. Uh, he's going to give it to, like, hand it over to um, Amadeus. Okay, Amadeus will take it. So, step. Uh, and with a free action, he'll call his rifle to reload. Okay, so you, see. you fed Amadeus the true strike? No, no, no he, I gave he it to handed him. it to okay. me. All right. And instead of reloading my rifle, I'm actually pulling out my cannon. 
just in your hand? Okay. Yeah, I stepped. Is is it part of a move to pull up my? Uh... No. No. Okay. So move, give it to him. Or sorry, move, pull out, give it to him. Then that's it. Amadeus, you've got a potion in your hand. Um. Yes. Hold it in your teeth and bite down when you're when you get there. <laughs> you watch the thing go, go away. I'm right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the little boy is standing his ground, amazingly enough. All right, haste attack. As you go, bite. You, you go you running off. You go jumping off the thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, plus one from above. Uh, give me your acrobatics check, DC fifteen. Made it. Okay, so you take no damage from the fall. Oh, I don't know if you have slow fall or anything. Slow like fall, that. monk. I don't have it actually. Okay. No, that was it. Uh, plus. 22 with the haste. So, is it bite attack? No power attack. AC 32. Hits the manticore. In front of all these witnesses, your tongue lashes out. For 19 damage. The kid is still screaming because this is scary. Good job. Soil your armor. It's the right thing to do. So, uh, he's grappled. Yep, you grab a hold of the manticore's hair and you're pulling it in tufts and eventually you get it into a headlock. Uh, plus 20. And tie it up in blood vine rope, 42. <laughs> Boop! Captured manticore. <laughs> there, don't with <laughs> She turns to head back down the hall. That's everything, Okay, they are running up the stairs, they being the captives. Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? <laughs> yells, the, yells the cook. Stay uh, here. The, the kid just ends up, like, hugging the elf. The elf is not happy with having to play the mother figure to this little whelp. But she ends up dragging him into the hallway here. Hey, Ron, I'm going to be like, you're right, you're a terrible mother. (laughs) (laughs) Brenos. Brenos is going to uh, drop out of his rage. Okay. First round of fatigue. Uh, He's going to cast a heroism on himself. (laughs) Time to be heroic. The Manticore is going to attempt to make strength checks to get out of the rope. What's the DC, Amadeus? 30. He cannot make this check. <laughs> he will not make this part. <laughs> yeah. enjoy, enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, uh, the 20 strength Manticore can't, can't, can't do it. Can't do it. Uh, sorry, on... Um, uh... Brennus's turn, he's going to switch his judgments uh, to um, destruction and uh, protection. Thanks. Sorry, Mark. Is it strength checks or a CMB check? It's a strength check it's to a... break the rope. It's CMB for an escape artist check. Got it. Okay, so this round, it tried the strength route. It gets a plus four size bonus. I don't know if that helped. Uh, plus nine total nope. then. You can't. still can't break them. So it, it might it might start like trying to wiggle its way out next, but it tried the it roared and tried the brute strength uh, route. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so Brennus is switching up judgments and casting spells. Yep. Agony. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what are we gonna do? A true strike came out of his sorcerer spells. He only has 11 more spells left. (laughs) And a bubble. (laughs) Thank you, Rig of Wizardry. Uh, So he's got more true strikes. He says that I have more true strikes. Excellent. I'm going to need him. Are we going up? Probably. Agony's not going up there alone. Fuck that. Um, He is going to cast. Marriage? 
Mirror image is not bad. Mirror yeah. image is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Re-upping the mirror image. Five images. Oh. Yep, and then you'll just move forward. Uh, not to the full extent of his move that would isolate him. That's not. That's not agony style. Very. The displacer beast. Wow. Come back, coward. So <laughs> We're just making noises like, oh, little kitty cat scared. Meow. Now, let's be clear. We're still terrified of this thing. <laughs> We're scared shitless. It doesn't come down the stairs, Thogram. No. Uh, I'm looking for shit on my character sheet that will help me heal. <laughs> Yes, she doesn't. Have. Stop standing in front of it and loading your damn gun. <laughs> <sighs> okay, he's um. This reflex save was pretty good. All right. Uh, I could I could some healing. Uh, he's gonna have um, fuck. It's got a cannon in one hand and a grenade in the other. Okay, Amadeus. That's really all I got for this shit. Ah, Amadeus. Oh. What happened to the map? There it is. All right. Yep. Amadeus oh. is going to... <laughs> Leaves the tide up, Manticore. I'll okay. give you a heroism if you stick around for a sec. Goes there. Uh, that's two moves. The cook lady is in a panic. We need to get out of here! And Jalissa is just holding on to the boy. Stay with us. It's the safest place. I'm, I'm going to kind of join Agony down here. And I guess you can can you ready your haste attack or is it? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna ready his haste attack or a bite attack. Brenos. Okay, Brenos is going to summon a single image <laughs> using his trickery domain. Calling upon nice. a bathor. Uh, uh, and then we're a bunch of cowards. Uh, we're gonna start going upstairs. <laughs> Uh, this is the second round of fatigue. <laughs> do you get that bar, or do you need to... Yeah, that's, that's my 50 tweet. Manticore. All right, so it has one chance per round with its plus 12 CMB, plus 4 for it being bigger. 26 doesn't make it. And then the bonus is now plus you 11. You can 20 on the CMB check to escape ropes, I believe. Like, it doesn't count... Okay, so it struggles against the ropes and doesn't get out. Agony. Agony will go up the stairs. Twenty-five to here. <clears throat> he finishes his movement, which would be sixty. I don't see it. It's gotta be hiding somewhere, some sort of hunter. Okay, these doors were open, so he's going to take a quick jaunt over to here to make sure. Oh, it's... yeah, he's unlikely to escape. If the DC is 20 plus the CMB of the creature. <clears throat> Forgot about that. And then his third move, he takes a peek up these stairs. Uh, basically, Agony's looking for yeah. the creature. He didn't want the thing coming behind you, which is why he's doing that systematically. And then the creature, I don't know, is moving off in the dungeon somewhere. <laughs> Maybe following a trail of corpses, having a look to see what's going on. <clears throat> Thogram? Um, get closer to us. Don't don't linger behind. 
Uh, he's going to move closer to Amadeus and Brennus. Um, yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put the cannon away and actually pull out another grenade. Amadeus. <laughs> Uh, it's just waiting. He's like, uh, I guess he'll go up with agony. Doesn't actually give that much of a crap about those people. Do you have your walls? <laughs> the fuck did it go? It's not in there. He points down there. Who did Brennus talk to? Thorgrim. Do you have your wall spell? My stone? Hey. No, it's same same as my teleport. Well, what fucking good are you if you don't have a fucking wall? <laughs> what good am I if I don't have a fucking teleport? <laughs> Alright, captives move to here. We have to get out of here! The cook is yelling at Thogrim. There's no getting out of here if that beast is still around. It'll hunt us and kill us. This is the best just place to the find. Door. <laughs> Where are the Leave. others? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Quit this your is crying. A, this is a 1950s moment, I believe. <laughs> uh, Jalissa says, I told you the old hag is in the basement. They thought she had magical powers. The, the, the boy is just crying. Yeah, yeah. You're quite brave down there. Good on you. This thing is not to be trifled with, though. Just stay behind us. For fuck's sake, just stand outside! <laughs> He's spitting blood. It's 40 damage. Okay, the manticore does not escape. Agony is searching uh, with... Is he uh, or Thilgr 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 Brennus, yes. because... Yeah, Brennus, what are you doing? Brennus. Uh, well, we're... I can see into the ethereal, and I'm a good tracker. So, I want to track the thing through the ethereal. <laughs> that's that's what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I want to be a king. Give give yeah, me a, a survival check. Roll good. Okay. <laughs> Roll good. I plan on it because if not, then we might do the whole like it gets away and if it comes back, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> uh, plus twenty three. Yeah, this is where we find out it's got fast healing and forty three. <laughs> okay, uh, Brenos, it paused for a moment here, and in the ethereal plane, you can see blood. Oh, Lord. This is... <laughs> and you know that it went north. Okay, I will and you're moving at half speed, right? I'll take my other two moves at half speed. Yep. Went this way. Um, I'm going to sync my movement with the uh, captives. Okay, Thurgrim, you're going at as if you rolled a minus four then? Yeah. All right. Uh, then it's the Minicore failing to escape. Then it's Agony. You're pointing it went that way, so he's going to move. Do any of these doors have locks on them? 60. They're big. They're stone. Uh, the way that you've seen the... Some of them do, but not in this area. The It looks like all the locks were ruined when they like initially looted the place. Um, some of the hobgoblins have been using like lumber to to like stick doors. You're pretty sure that you could stick a uh, like an iron spike into some of these doors to keep them from opening but yeah it's it's opening from like a hobgoblin yeah opening from a giant monster yeah so agony one move and then he gets to the corner and he's going to uh, 60 movement so he, he checks has a look so he looks two ways he's he's not seeing the monster and he's making sure uh, Displacer Beast, you don't know where it is. Amadeus.
Okay, Thor Thorgrim. Okay, we're gonna move. Try to catch up to these guys. You so bring the captives with you. Yep. Okay. Um. Here, I'll move them. Yeah, that's that's forty. Thirty. Forty to there. Okay, so another fifty. Brannus, I can't, I can't keep, keep them around like this. Got to put them somewhere. Okay, last round of haste. Brennos. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, do I have to keep rolling or can I follow the tracks? No, you, you can follow the tracks. They are fresh. It bled, it, it paused for a moment and went this direction. For fuck's sakes. You can see it moved into the room a little bit. It looked around. It like there's a bit of pool pool of blood, and then it went down the hallway towards your towards all the destruction that you wrought not minutes ago. <laughs> it's traveling faster than we are. Uh, armored Manticore, Bolin for its twenty agony. gonna uh, he's moving at 60 so 120 it's two moves a third move between the two of us there's no other way out back there so yep I'm gonna give agony a perception check I think I saw it. Oh, actually, no. Light. Oh, yeah, there's light in Sinrith chambers. Something over here. Okay. Okay, Displacer Beast. is disappointed. <laughs> Amadeus. You're muted, Mark. But... Between the two Amade of us, I know generally which direction it is. Yeah. Amadeus, do you go running across the dark mosaics? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I think he will. Go to here and go... Ah! <laughs> Okay. They do catch your breath a little bit, but nothing bad happens to you if you take that route. Alright. That's two moves. Do I see anything up there? No, Agony says up ahead. I think it went into the into the church. Okay. Can you see? Uh, I guess no. From there, can you see anything? You don't. Alright. It's everything you can do. Thogram. Uh, drag these bozos with me. I don't trust that cook, by the way. It's a very gaunt cook. Uh, Brenos. <laughs> I see Brenos. I'm following my friend. The skinny cooks and the bald barbers and... <laughs> There's certain... The pyromaniac oh, firemen. Wait, what? That's a common thing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Brennos is over here. Sorry. All right, yeah, the captain's moving with you. Uh, haste is now down. Brennos? Okay. Uh, we were told that it's in a particular direction, so we're going to go this way around. Now that we we're, we basically have isolated it to the point where we know where we, we think we know where it is, as long as we <laughs> the other nastiness. Yep. 
Manticore attempting to escape the horrible grasp of the blood vines. <laughs> this is horror. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it doesn't want to be here. Uh, Agony uh, is now slowed, so he double, triple moves to here. Displacer Beast Pack Lord. Fight you and hold on the holy ground. <laughs> Amadeus. He said the church. Amadeus, give me a perception check as you round the corner. Okay. Check exactly what that is. Uh, plus 22. 40. There is a slick trail as it looks like one of the edder caps was dragged and then the trail disappears. Okay. Uh, Amadeus doesn't entirely understand what that means. By not entirely, he doesn't understand. Uh, he's gonna go to here and look around the corner. Okay, haste, haste, haste had gone down, right? So I don't know if you're moving that far. Oh, oh it has. Uh, he can get that far in three moves at least. Okay. Um, you can Is the see. Wall stone still there. Wall stone still there. Okay. And That's permanent, isn't it? The pack lord, displacer beast has a dangling edder cap in one of its uh, in one of its um tentacles and it seems to be uh swaying it back and forth in front of the the big obelisk is the edder oh. cap, which plays is the edder cap in which plays the black lord in? the edder cap is in the ethereal with the pack lord oh no Well, here's something we can't stop. Thogrim. <clears throat> Gonna bring these people to their deaths. I think agony could annoy him. I think he's a little with the force effect. Yeah, All right. 80. I'm going to move some of these uh, things out of the way. Yeah, you, you bring your captives through the field of Carnage. That's all the time. <laughs> you can have nightmares later. <laughs> Close your eyes, lad. <laughs> Brenos. Okay, Brenos. Is... The, the lad is just being led around. He's not responding to commands very well anymore. He's Perfect. now traumatized. Awesome. That's He's what I want to do. We're not done yet. <laughs> we didn't do it. Uh, yeah, you did. So, that's a triple move. All right. Manticore is still miserably tied up. Agony. Triple moves to here to see what's going on. We can bring things to the other plane. I don't know what he's doing. The pack lord coup de gras, the unconscious edder cap upon the obelisk. And in a strange sort of way, you thought you heard like a gong. Uh, he discards the body, and the body appears in the. In the material plane. Your Amadeus and Agony can see like an essence flowing from the edder cap into the strange black uh, basalt obelisk. Amadeus. Uh, the pack lord turns around to stare at Agony and Amadeus. 
Delay till it appears, I guess. It's in the church! Yells Agony, Belgrim. Fuck's sakes. We cannot bring him to the church. Uh... Can't bring him to the church. Can't leave my friends around. Bring him to this chamber. Have him wait in the hall. Yeah. Okay, your hut. They, they move at twenty. Is the thing. Oh, they move at twenty. Yeah. Yeah, Jalissa can hustle that fast uh, with some urgency. Um. I'll give him a hat. Like I'll prop him up. Brenos. Okay, well, Brenos is. Uh, this is the uh, tenth round. The twelfth round of combat. Okay, Brenos is going to move forward and recast his his uh, uh, divine favor. Okay. The Manticore. Just it, it gives up. It stops. Now. Yep. I'm just gonna wait. Maybe it can beg its way. Agony has magic missiles, doesn't he? Yeah, take him to knock him out of that plane. And he's got very potent magic missiles, actually. Forty-four plus eight. He's got sorcerer. They come out of his sorcerer spells. Um, so he magic missiles. He's only eighth level caster. Yep. No. So isn't it forty-four plus thirteen? Um, 44 plus uh, 14. 8, 8 plus 4. 8, 44 plus 12. He gets his cash level and then the magic missiles have base damage. He gains plus 1 damage per die rolled for his bloodline arcana when it's uh, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's got it, it, his blood havoc because it's evocation. He gets plus 1 per damage die rolled. So normally it's 44 plus 4. It becomes 44 plus 8. If it was a fire spell, it would be 44 plus 12. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he blasts it for 20 damage. There we go. Nice. I'll wake you up in the morning. And bloodies it. Good. Oh. Oh, the thing looks pissed off. I yeah. want my stupid crit back. <laughs> uh, Agony will then move off to the side. Splacer Beast. Well... It squeezes. Squeezes. Yeah, so that was 30, <laughs> 40, 50, 60 to get through that thing, and it has 20 feet left. So that's 80, and then it's last move. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Passes through all of you and doesn't like being attacked from this plane. Amadeus. Moves to there and he'll Right in the bite attack, I guess, if it appears. Okay, Thogrim and the captives. It's gonna point them to, like, over here. Okay. So. Um, then he's. Moving forward. Uh, Reading a grenade toss. You guys are merciless. Merciless. Yeah. Brynos. This is... So Brynos is going to... Oh, Agony had to break us, sorry. My bad. Which he did. It should be one less because it's not a fire spell, but yeah. Hmm. Brynos is going to camp underneath, <laughs> underneath 
<laughs> he's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's camping the pack lord. You, you, uh, you can fight effectively in that square, even if it appears, because your two size category is smaller than it. Yep. Uh, uh, and I am going to... Cast a true strike from a wand that's in my quip. Okay. Uh, yeah. Agony is going to guess we gotta just keep on hitting it with magic missile <laughs> until it appears. So she's just to come out of that plane. I mean... Okay, he fires magic missiles, which you see affect the creature in the ethereal plane and injure it. It, it, it roars and snaps at Agony, but it's not on the right plane for attacking. And unfortunately for it, Agony's got eight more magic missiles today. It needs to leave. It can't do this. So. For fuck's sakes. I'm faster than it is, so I can keep chasing it and threatening it. Amadeus. And he'll ready a bite if it appears. Okay. Thogram. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Come towards me now! <laughs> uh. 40, 50, 60. Well, I don't want to be that close. Fuck that shit. I think, I think over here is fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, I yelled at them to come at me. Come come towards me. This way. Run, run towards me. And passed. <laughs> Did they move? Do you want me to move them or do they stay there? No, they're, they're going to... Move. <laughs> the boy swiped. Swiped at some random thing in the darkness and then went Perfect. chasing after. Uh, uh, <laughs> Brenos. I think this thing's gonna start to realize it needs to fight its way out of this. Okay. Uh, How fast is Brenos moving? 50. Get in there. He's mm -hmm. ready to hit it with his true strike if it comes out of that plane. <laughs> ah, good. Hey. Uh, Mendes, you still have my true strike. I'm aware. So Agony is going to cast... Unfortunately, you guys all ran away, so you can't benefit from it, but he's going to cast uh, Haste. Yeah, Agony's slower than it. Just, yeah. Well, someone's got to keep up with this thing. <laughs> well, right. He wants to keep up with it so that he can magic missile it. And I th think it's got a problem now because he... He's faster. He's faster. Two actions cast haste and then a move over here. And now he's... Now and he, he has to be it. significantly faster because he has to move cast. Yep. Until he starts riding on Medeus like this. <laughs> 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 like Arlen did with the uh, Ugg. <laughs> Master Blaster. Okay, so it moves strategically to here. Will appear. I hate you. <laughs> okay, fine. Unless something... Oh, actually, 